Hello, teacher. Good morning. My name is George Espinosa. Here I am with my homework. The topic for today is initial analysis, how to approach a text. Teacher, the text that I chose is called The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. Let's talk about the opening moves. The first thing that one can notice in the text is the main character's state of mind. The main character tells a story in first person. He reveals his name as the same man who outsmarts people around by telling how he carried out a murder while getting away with it. He provides reason why he does is the right thing to do, but in the end, his guilt makes him to take an unexpected twist. There's a visual imaginary at the beginning when the main character does, when he realizes he cannot stand his uncle's eye. There's also an auditory imaginary that evolves by the use of sounds that make the speaker crazy. Let's talk about pattern. The nervousness of the character can be felt all over the story. It twists the perspective of the main character's reality. He sees his uncle's eye as something evil that must cease to exist. Also, there are many lines in the main character's earring that are highlighted. This aligns with what the character sees, hears, or believes to see and hear in the story. Let's talk about contrast. Right at the beginning of the text, the narrator wants us to establish the difference between being nervous and being mad. These two concepts are interwoven as the story develops. It can be seen at the beginning of the story. True, nervous, very, very dreadful nervous. I have been and am, but why will you say that am I mad? Now I'm gonna talk about feeling. The story deals with how the man deals with his anxiety. He addresses the reader directly. I want the reader to understand why he does what he does. He stands out with his idea of sanity. The language is formal, but not complex. And it's rather personal. When the problem is developed in the eyes of the reader, the most fascinating is the representation of what guilt is able to do in people's minds. Certain reasons for the main character feel revolting, such as the murder itself. And some others make the reader think that it was the wisest thing to do to turn himself in once everything is lost and guilt is coming after the main character. So now I'm going to respond to the core questions. So what basically is it about? It's about a man whose sick anxiety levels draws him to kill his uncle because of his eye and the narrator considers himself evil. The man's guilt drives him mad enough to confess his crime. What would you like to know more about the film? about the story. Uh, I would like to know uh, if the main character's crime was judged as sane or insane under the law's eyes. What kind of text is it? The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe is a classic Gothic fiction in the format of a short story. Who is addressing whom? The text is written in prose with certain informality since the narrator intends to appealing the reader for him to believe he's sane. The story is told in first person, providing context for the main character's upcoming actions and his late consequences. When and where is the text located in place and time? The writer does not specify any particular time setting, but clues provided suggest that the story takes place somewhere between 1830 and 1840, aligned to Poe's uh, uh, lifetime. It takes place in common American home of that period. That is why it makes it so relatable to people even nowadays. How precisely is all of this done? The, re the reader is drawn to the narrator minds because of the inferences throughout the text. Paragraphs organized mostly in compound, complex and complex compound sentences. The imaginary in the text uses the right amount of descriptive words that place the reader in the story. There are ellipses from time to time that lead to powerful inferences such as the one that takes place when the hidden body was calling the narrator. Why does it seem to have been written and why do you respond as you do? The text uh, mean to hit the core of the reader by telling a story everyone could relate to and the actions someone can carry out when sanity is only a name. I am provoked to think that we all could be the man, a functional insane person under extreme stress. What if the text was changed in some way yet different? If the story was written from the point of view of a woman, maybe, she could uh, have gotten away with her uncle's murder. The anxiety lies within, but women are more cold-hearted. What, what if the story was told in the moment as, as if the narrator was tweeting his next moves in an account that nobody knows about? Later on, the story would have been shared by tubers such as Dross, Tronan, Tronan, Trotanas um, in Latin America, okay? 
So that'll be all for today, teacher. I hope you like my video and I look forward to um, the next homework. Bye for now.